so understandably i don't really love these i think these have more flavor than white claws white claws are really like seltzer water like they taste very watery these kind of taste more like the flavor that they say they are so more like a soda ish type of feel um yeah this one is like ruby grapefruit it's pretty good
because of that she starts to hold coldness and resent within her heart um, so then there's an example of a charity event um, so Irvin and Marlene were at a charity event and Shirley and her boyfriend also just so happened to be at the same charity event I'm pretty sure I think it was work related so they were all at the charity event um so basically Marlene spots Shirley and um watches her throughout the night and at one point Shirley uh decides to take a trip to the bathroom by herself um Marlene then takes it upon herself to follow Shirley into the bathroom and pretty much confront her about her sleeping with her husband. Um, and yeah, she like smacks Shirley like she, she's like, I know you're sleeping with my husband. Pow. And like smacks her, like smacks the look at her, y'all. Um, she like starts calling Shirley a whore and all type of degrading names and telling her to stay away from Irvin. So um, Irvin has to end up breaking it up and he continues to try to explain to Marlene that there's really nothing going on, like nothing that she should be this suspicious and upset about. But Marlene just will not let it go. Like, in her mind, those two are having an affair. And she's, like, determined to figure it out. Bring it to fruition. Like, yeah, she just wouldn't let it go. Um, Shirley ends up filing a restraining order against Marlene. Because, of course, like, this crazy lady just attacked me in a bathroom about sleeping with her husband and you never slept with her husband like yeah so she files a restraining order and uh around the same time Irvin is really starting to see that Marlene is crazy and he does not want to be a part of this tumultuous relationship so he also decides to move out of their house but him moving out of their house only fuels her suspicion that something is going on so she's like even though he's moved out even though Shirley's doing her own thing Marlene is still she just still believes that this affair is going on um it may seem like she's moving on a little while later because Marlene ends up finding her a new man within a few months of Irvin moving out. Um, not much was said about her man except for his name was Tim and that they met online. Um, I pretty much think he was like a ploy to make it seem like she had it all together even though she didn't. You know, um, because at this time, I think Irvin has a new girlfriend, so I think she's only with this man to make it seem like she's moved on also, but y'all, she has not. So, about two years later, um, Marlene stalks Irwin's, Irvin's home because she still thinks that he's sleeping with Shirley um she literally installed some type of velcro window that she could pop in and out which she used to sneak in and out of his home which is so crazy like I wonder how she got that installed without knowing um yeah so she basically gets caught by Irvin while inside of his house she was like in his house waiting for someone to come in to like ambush them but she was not waiting for Irvin she was waiting for Shirley like she just knew that Shirley was gonna come through the door she was just gonna ambush her so yeah when 
she heard the um, lock at the door and all of that. She grabs a knife, but she noticed that it is Irvin who actually walks through the door, but she thought that it would be Shirley. Um, but she immediately starts chasing after Irvin with the knife. Luckily, Irvin escapes, and I believe he calls the police, but she's not, like, arrested or anything, but he does escape unharmed from that situation. Um, there is another incident in which she stalks Shirley when she is on, at a restaurant for lunch with her friends, like Shirley's at a restaurant for lunch with her friends, and Marlene is stalking her. Um, as Shirley and her friends are leaving the restaurant, Marlene pretty much comes up behind her, pushes her down, and, um, she starts beating her up, uh, she's punching and kicking her, and, you know, calling her all types of names, and she's just going in on her, so, yeah, that was another incident, in which she assaults Shirley. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So, continuing on, Marlene is still messing with Shirley. Um, she would call her job and not say anything and just hang up, you know, call her work phone and when she would answer, she'd be like, hello, and there would just be breathing and someone would hang up. And, um, Shirley was pretty sure that it was Marlene messing with her. So, uh, the tables really turn on July 23rd, 2013. You guys, this story started in 2006. It is drug out all of the way until 2013. So, yeah, basically, Marlene um, pops up in Shirley's house. Somehow, she gets inside of Shirley's house, probably in a way similar to how she got inside of Irvin's house. Um, and when Shirley comes through her door, Marlene pretty much just starts uh, slashing her with the knife in the neck and in the face. Um, in the reports, it said that the fatal wound in her neck was so brutal that the knife broke off inside of her body and was not found until the autopsy. That is crazy. That's very disturbing to me. I'm sorry if that was like too much I should have maybe gave like a trigger warning but yeah like crazy y'all um yeah after she does that after Marlene like slices up Shirley she like makes it look like a robbery or something she tries to stage a robbery and a few hours later Shirley's fiance finds her body um, right off the bat, Marlene is a prime suspect because she had, uh, previous encounters with her with the slapping and the restraining order and the stalking her at the restaurant. Like, Shirley had reported all these things, so there was a previous animosity towards her. Also, her DNA was found at the crime scene on blood speckled paper towels so pretty much immediately uh she was arrested and in 2018 she was finally convicted of first degree murder and she was sentenced to life without parole so yeah that's a crazy story you guys like a possession is real like Marlo Marlene like she's that's a crazy lady oh my gosh so yeah I really feel 
what you guys think of the story and uh, what you would have done if you were Shirley. Would you have left town or would you have stood your ground? Because you're not going to let nobody drive you out of your town and just do it the right way with the restraining orders or whatever, whatever. Marlene was like completely obsessed and you guys, there's like literally no evidence at all ever found that Shirley and Irvin were ever having an affair. It's like all in this lady's mind. It's crazy. Yeah, just let me know what y'all think in the comments. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But, um, yeah, with that being said, this is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. That probably just sounded so